Okay, so this is basically what you're going to need to create the version 2 of the um, airlift system for the uh, window farm hydroponic system. Okay, so um, what you'll need is of course you'll need the air pump. I'm just using the Petco air pump that has a dial on the top and four ports. Um, it comes with uh, four check valves and it comes with four rolls of this tubing. Um, then what I'm using for um, the reservoir, part of what I'm using for the reservoir is this uh, container that I purchased from um, the container store. The lid is what we're going to need specifically. Um, it fits perfectly onto this um, Claire Brune tonic water bottle. Um, and if, if this is this this container, it's um, if you need to scan it or something, or get the information, it it works perfect. I swear, um, you're going to need some um, plumber's tape just to be safe. Um, then there is this uh, that I got from a hydroponic store. Basically, it fits into quarter-inch outer diameter tubing. Um, it it kind of, I don't know what you call this, it has like three-pronged elbow or something. Um, this valve, which fits into a quarter-inch outer diameter tubing um, as well, uh, just moderates the amount of water that goes into your system and that goes up into the plants. And it helps keep the bubbling, helps keep bubbling from happening um, or helps to keep bubbling uh, into the a reservoir at a minimum. And then you're going to need some quarter-inch uh, um, inner diameter tubing as well because the uh, tip of this fits the quarter-inch um, inner diameter tubing. Um, then, of course, you're going to need some quarter-inch outer diameter tubing as well. It comes in three different flavors. Um, you can go to Home Depot and get this clear tubing. It works really well and has a super nice seal, but only problem is that um, algae tends to grow in here fairly easily. Um, this blue is a little bit better. The black is the best, of course. No algae is going to grow in the black. The black is just a little bit more difficult to deal with because it's um, more rigid. This is from a hydroponic store as well and it's it's really rigid and uh, I haven't actually used too much of it because I only found out about it or saw it after I pretty much finished building most of the columns but um, but yeah let's go ahead and, and build this so it's easy so um, what we're gonna need is the head of the um, sauce bottle I'm gonna stick it onto the tonic bottle fits in there super snug um, and then you're going to want to insert the quarter inch inner diameter tubing over the the neck of this or over the tip it forms a really nice seal so just stick it in there really hard and then attach some quarter inch inner diameter tubing to this and this this is going to kind of complete the reservoir now since this blue tubing doesn't have as nice of a seal as the uh, clear tubing what you're going to want to do is you're going to wrap this with a little bit of um, plumber's tape um, seal it up somehow Okay, so this basically, right here, is the reservoir, even the tubing. The tubing is the reservoir. Um, then we're going to connect the valve. When you put this valve in here, it's really tight, so um, you'll n need to pry it off if you want to take it off. It's really hard, actually, to get back off. Um, so from here, we're going to attach another piece of uh, tubing. You do, it doesn't need to be very long actually, not very long at all. The longer it is, the more pressure actually, and the more um, the more pressure you'll get going up. Um, okay, so basically we've got the reservoir, tubing, the valve, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna connect this um, elbow here. Okay. This side connects to the reservoir the other side basically is just going to be um, connecting to the uh, air pump that comes with the, like the, the Petco air fish tank air pump. Okay, so, so far we have the air coming in and the water draining down. And this is where we're going to have the air, or where we're going to have the, the water-air mixture go up into the plants here. So then you'll connect this, and this is going to be probably like six feet long, depending on how tall your um, window farm is, or your window is in general. So connect that in. Okay. 
Um, let's get that in. That is basically your airlift system. Um, what happens is, is that um, water is, is, is forced down um, through um, suction. It's really kind of bizarre how this happens, but air is forced through here and it starts traveling up. It's looking for the easiest route and for some reason going up and around into the plants creates a sort of vacuum which sucks water from the reservoir up into the plants. Um, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to adjust this um, valve here. Now this, this piece of tubing here doesn't need to be this long. It can be shorter by half, that's for sure. It uh, just depends on how, um, how much space you have. And I'll show you in a second what I mean. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to adjust this to um, the amount of water that your hydroponic system can handle. Um, you don't want too much water going up because it'll start to uh, it'll start to um, bubble up into your reservoir, um, and you want you don't want too little because then you'll get too much air being sucked up into the the, the plant. So it takes a little while to figure out the optimum mix of um, water, air, but um, you'll figure it out. Um, here I'll, I'll move to the next section. Okay, so this is the um, airlift system in action. You can see I've got the sauce bottle lid attached to the uh, tonic water and um, a little bit of plumber's tape connecting the two just to uh, keep any sort of um, leaking from happening. Um, attached to the valve, which is attached to this uh, three-way here. Um, you can see that the, uh, the air pump is attached over here. I'm running all four ports. The check valve is installed, and heading up into the plants is the uh, mixture of um, air and uh, nutrients. Heading up here and uh, dripping its way down into my strawberries. So that is the version 2 of the airlift system.